So you have your fabric the right side up, you take the muzzle, you match it up to where you marked where your muzzle was going to be before. Just put a pin in there, and all I'm going to do is sew along this edge here, so this is attached to that below it. You do that for both sides. Whatever stitch you choose to use really depends on your machine. I happen to have an applique stitch, so I'm going to use that. If you don't have that available, your zigzag stitch will work just as well, and it will also have the added bonus of not letting your material fray. Make sure your needle is on the edge of your fabric, and just sew away. The next thing we're going to sew is our ears. Now you've got four white pieces or outer ear, depending on what other color you want. And you've got your two inside pieces. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take an outer ear piece and we're going to applique the inside ear to that. And then what we'll do is we'll take the other outside ear piece with right sides together. We'll then stitch all around that and then we'll turn it inside out. Using an overlocking stitch or straight stitch, whatever your machine has, you just go all the way around here. So you go one, two stitches, back a couple stitches just to lock it in place, and then you go around. The seam allowance on this is very, very small because it's such a small ear. If you feel unsure of how to do sewing in such a small area, then just make cut them really, really large and trim the same allowance off later. When you get to the top, you're going to put your needle down, you're going to lift up your presser foot, you're going to pivot the entire ear around, put your presser foot back down, and then you just keep on like you were doing it a second ago. Here's a trick that might help you turn it inside out if you have a really, really thin length like I do. You take a safety pin, you shove it up all the way to the end with the circular end at the top. Once it's there, you take a needle and a thread and you just sew it through the loop in the safety pin at the top. Do that about four times. just so it won't unravel on you. Cut the other end off. And now you can pull, rather push the end of the safety pin until you can grab it through the bottom of the ear. So there's my little safety pin there. And then turn this inside out. Now we've got our ear turned inside out. What we're going to do is attach it to the horse head. Now, if you look at our picture of the horses, you'll notice that they seem a little uh, turned in and also they are looking at you when you're looking at the face of the horse. So instead of attaching it like this and sewing it up like this, so they're pointing outside, what we're going to do is make a small incision here. We're gonna put them inside so that when you sew it, it'll pop up so it looks like it's facing forward. The other thing we're going to do is just gather the bottom like that. So as you can see, it seems to make like a little bit of a cone, which in the photo is exactly how they appear. A little cone like that. So the first thing we want to do is locate where the ear is actually going. Take your pattern and put it over top. And my ear is right here. So I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to mark exactly where that ear is. Now I'm going to take the end of my ear, put it together like that, and we're going to see how far in we have to cut. Now that looks actually a pretty good length. There we go. So we'll just cut in that far and we'll insert the horse ear. Take your scissors, cut.
Take your horse ear, put inside, flip the neck over, match the bottom of the horse ear here with that cut there, and then sandwich it in between with that cut there. Now we're just gonna lip, sew a zigzag stitch right across there, and then our horse ear will be attached. Then we'll repeat for this other side. Next, we're going to put on the fabric that goes down the middle of the snout. You have your marking of your eye that goes on the widest part of the diamond. So you take your right side of your fabric and you put it down with the diamond aligning up with the eye mark. So our eye mark is there and that's the top of the diamond. You put a pin. Then you line this up all the way down the snout. And pin. And then you do the same at the top here. Going in between the ears all the way back. Now we'll just take a straight stitch and starting at the muzzle, don't worry about the excess here, you just cut it off later. You're just gonna sew all the way down the straight line here to the top of the ears. So the next step is we're gonna put our two horse halves together. So you're going to pin all the way around. When you get to the muzzle, make particular attention that your muzzle uh, pieces actually match together. And here in the middle, you're going to be pinning to the darker color, not actually the other side of the horse head. You're pinning here. When you get to the top, you want to stop about there because we're going to be adding some hair for our mane. So you take some yarn and you wrap it around your hand, however many times you like. Oops. There we go. So we're gonna take these loops, we're gonna sew them in as loops, but then once you pull through the head, you're gonna actually cut the bottom. So if that's how much hair you would like over the eyes of your horse, that is what you would do. So for me, I'm just going to twist it to make it easier to sew in. There we go. So I'll put this in between my ears, right there like that and I'll pin these two together. Now we're coming around to the bit underneath which we have the um, middle piece we're attaching. So I'm going to show you how to do that by sewing and then you swing this underneath and lay this flat on top like that. So it's a motion like that, like that, so you don't sew these two accidentally together. So we're just doing our straight stitch around the muzzle. You get to the point at which the muzzles meet. You pull your bottom piece down and away, and you just keep going straight. Bottom piece under and away. Pull it over. Bottom piece under and away. You just continue like that until you get to the very top. In order to do the horse hair down the mane, all you do is you can see I've already pinned a whole bunch here. You grab a loop at the bottom, you bring your finger around the length, that's going to be the hair on the outside. You put your finger on the inside, you bring the loop around, this is going down. Then you put your fabric over, grab a pin, pin the yarn into fabric, and you do it again. However long you want the hair. 
put your finger at the top, down, put the fabric over, and pin the hair. Now we're ready to sew the hair into place. I found a small problem. I've uh, sewed up the end to here. This bit here where the ear meets, it's very, very bulky and my machine would not actually go over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hand sew from here all the way over to here. So you just go in, through the yarn, through the back, pull out, go back in, through the yarn, through the fabric, and come back out. So I'm going to continue to do that. I might actually go over that a couple more times because if you think about it, this is the top of the horse and this is where the child is most likely going to pull the mane if it's dropped it or, you know, being a bit rough and tumble. Now we turn our horsey inside out. Put your hand in, grab its nose, and just pull your whole hand through. There we go. And you've got your little horse head with its ears and everything else. There we go. So the next step um, I find is going to be easiest is if you're going to be sewing buttons on, now is the time to do it um, before you put the filler in because you're going to be able to take your thread through the fabric and back out through the fabric. I happen to find some very interesting little eye things. I've got a pupil in them and all it is is a, like a little tack. You stick it in through the material and then you put the backing on like that over the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my little horse.